Right, so some days ago, a friend of mine was bored and decided to troll me suggesting we play tic-tac-toe on Snapchat. So I agreed, but after one round it became tedious having to draw the lines for every move, so I did what any sensible person would do. Don't say something stupid, like write the game from scratch. I created a tic-tac-toe game in Python that can run on the terminal. The plan was to go ahead and make it run on sockets so that it can be used on two separate computers, but this one is all about figuring out how to make the game logic so that so it will be easier later on. I first started out by figuring out how I was going to draw the game in the terminal. It was very simple, I just needed to clear what was already on the terminal and then add some white space and draw in like the lines with space with the letters inside of it. And this is the snippet of code that does that. The next thing I wanted was to have a title screen. It was also very easy. Clear the screen, add the white space and print out the title in the middle of it. Now that I have those features in place, I put them into a game class and added features for players 1 and 2 to be chosen randomly and assigned a letter. And finally we got to the interesting part which is making the game actually work. I wrote out the gaming logic so I had a structure to work with when I got to coding. The first thing I wanted was to ask the player for their move and only making the move if it was a correct move, like if, say, the space was available or if they typed in the correct um, number. The next thing was to write the logic that would check if the move was a winning one. It wasn't very complex, but the feeling of achievement from getting it to work was amazing.
finally I wrote the code that would switch the players after the game was over. After that, the, it was essentially completed and working properly, but as with everything, there was room for, it, for improvement. For example, I realized after I'd written the code that the player class was not necessary and could be replaced with a list or a dictionary inside of the, the game class. I'm not going to change it now, I'm just making the observation. The code will be uploaded to my GitHub, so you can have a look at it and play around with it if you want. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description. And that's where I'll leave it for today. The next thing is to make it multiplayer, like on separate computers, but that will be a separate video. So that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by and I wish you the best.